We have Arc Academy joining us to uh, kind of talk to us a little bit about the work they're doing to champion girls in football. So I'll hand it over to Kelly. Um, Good morning. Hopefully you can hear me OK. Yep, perfect. Sorry, just bear with me. Our slides are just loading. Um, could you confirm you can see the slides? Yep. Brilliant. OK, thank you so much for having us this morning. Um, we've been really excited to come in and speak to you about what we're doing at the moment with girls football in our school. Um, you can see on the left hand side there the statement from England ladies with regards to writing to the government to make sure all girls get an equal opportunity to football across the country. Uh, we do, we think we do a great job here at Arc Academy. I've got some of the girls with me today. They're out of screen, but they'll be talking to you shortly. Ria's hiding. Um, we're here to speak to you today about what we do and what they've experienced so far at Arc Academy with girls football. So I'm going to start by passing over to Abigail. Abigail is captain of our year nine football team. Here she hi. Is. Um, hi, my name is Abigail. I'm captain of the Year 9 football team. In the top left corner is my teammates and I at practice. It happens every Wednesday. In Year 8, I had been surprised by meeting Aaron Ransdell, the Arsenal goalkeeper and the manager of England. I want to check your general knowledge on women's football. Could you just type your answer in the chat, please? So this is like a mini quiz for you. Um, so get ready to type your answers as Abigail uh, um, ask you the questions. Are you ready, Abigail? Yeah. Off you go. Um, number one, to check if you're all listening, what's my name? Should we go fastest finger first? Yeah. yeah. Well oh, done. Yeah. Okay, who was first? Yeah. Holly got it first with Abigail. Yes, I'm correct. Second, who is the England's number one female goalkeeper? Oh, hopefully everyone knows this. <laughs> yes, oh, it was. Is that Cole was first? Yeah. With Mary Earps, the yeah. famous Mary Earps. Yep. Who's next? Who won the FIFA Women World Cup in 2023? Oh, our PE department struggled with this one, which we were. <laughs> <laughs> so, I didn't know someone. I think it was Holly. Holly, Holly Harris again. Yeah. Wow, that's two out of. That was two, two quickest so far, right? Yeah. Lastly, who is currently top of the Women's Super League? Can you remember the answer? Yeah. She, she yeah. Goes, yeah. Yeah. Verona. Veronica, yes, with the answer, Chelsea. Well done. Any more questions from you, Abigail? Okay, were you impressed? Yeah, I'm very impressed. Yeah. Okay, um, so that was from Abigail. She is captain of our Year 9 football team. Thank you for your responses to our quiz. We wanted to check what our general knowledge was like because we love football here at Arc Academy. Um, yeah, agreed. I think Veronica won the last one. I think overall, there you go, Abigail. Great quiz, Abigail. We love a quiz here. Thank you, Holly. Um, I think you might have been the winner as well. We love football here at Arc Academy, and in particular, we love um, girls football, and we're doing everything we can to promote our girls in football and making sure they have equal opportunities. You can see in the pictures we do lots. We have in-house games. We went recently, we met Rachel Yankee at a tournament where, which was hosted by Metropolitan Police. Um, and most importantly, what we wanted to speak to you today about was the ARC Championships and the ARC Scholarship Programme. So I'm sure most of you know, but the picture with the blue tops, that's the ARC Scholarship Programme. We host that here at um, ARC Academy, which is all led by Tom as well. A really amazing opportunity for the children. It's for the elite footballers across the network. So it's been a real privilege to host that. And we have lots of our pupils involved as well. And then we have the ARC Championships, which is us in the red tops there. That's Abigail's team. And it's the boys team as well. A really lovely day out for everybody because it gives an opportunity for the boys and girls to go together and see one another play, an opportunity for them to support one another. And for me as a teacher at ARC, the thing I like most about it is the fact that it's run by external coaches. So, for example, QPR. Q yeah, Wembley background is lovely. We get that a lot. Um, QPR coaches run the ARC Championships, which is so important for us because as teachers, we then get chance to go along for the day and actually spend more valuable time with the pupils, making sure that we're coaching them, we're getting to socialise with them, from sitting down and having lunch together to talking tactics on and off the pitch. It gives us a lot more time with the children. So all of that support and funding that goes into the ARC Championships gives us more time with the pupils and they get a really great deal out of it. So whilst talking about the ARC Championships, I'm going to pass over to Ria, who is captain of our Year 7 football team. Here you go, Ria. 
Hello, my name is Rihanna. I'm the captain of the Year 7 football team and I would like to explain why I joined. When I first joined Arc Academy, I was very happy that there was a girls team as football is my favourite sport. I have joined and, many new, and made many new friendships in that time period. I love, I love football and my teachers have helped me gain my confidence and become better at my favourite sport. I adore my football club. I love, I adore my football club and my team and I would never want to change my decision. When I first joined ARC, one of my first ever football matches was the ARC Championships. It was amazing and we made it all the way to the semi-finals. How about that? I was worried as I decided to be the goalie for my for my team, but with everyone's support, I we I got it, gained my confidence and we and I saved many goals for my team. Brilliant. You're getting a lot of um support there, Ria. Everyone's saying well done to you. Um, I'm also going to pass over. We've had our year nine captain speak, our year seven captain speak. Some fantastic presentation skills, Ria. I'm now going to hand over to Iman, who is captain of our year eight football team. Um, hi, my name is Iman. I'm the captain of the year eight football team. Being in the football team is one of my favourite things about being in ARC. The reason why I enjoy being... The reason why I enjoy being in the team is because I get lots of opportunities to compete in games such as the Arc Championships and against other local schools. I look forward to football after school every week as it gives me a chance to express my feelings and be around my friends in a fun environment. Brilliant. Thank you as well, Iman. Lots of few people there saying hello to you as well. OK, so we've heard from the captains of our team, all three of them. Uh, just to let you know, we also do lots of things off of the pitch as well here at ARC to try and inspire the girls. Girls, you can squeeze in if you can't see. Um, so, for example, we've recently had a lioness in the library quiz where we're very fortunate to have such a lovely learning environment where the girls got invited along. We did a quiz, a bit like the one Abigail just hosted for yourselves, where we asked questions about the lionesses. Um, we got to see all the lovely books that we have on offer in our library. And to top it off, every single person who came along to that event received a ticket. Where are you there, Ria, in your picture? Ria's the one cheering there with her hands up in the air on the left hand side. Um, we got to go to watch England ladies play at Wembley Stadium. Anyone remember what the score was? 3 2. 3 2. What was the game like? It was amazing. Yeah, was tell them a bit what it was about. It was also about, um, it was a, it was a, it was about. Like there was about 70 people, 70,000 people there at the Wembley Stadium match. Um, and they made a great comeback after losing, after um, going down a couple of scores, but they made a great comeback for winning 3 2. Yeah. And Abigail, you were saying this was your first time at a ladies' match? Yeah. Did I, you enjoy it? Yeah, I did because it was the first time watching females play football. With them. So we had a really good day at Wembley Stadium. Like Ria said, over 70,000 people there and we were very fortunate to be involved with it. So had a really good day out. Um, and then we just wanted to end. We only had five minutes. We could probably talk to you about girls football for about five hours, but we only had five minutes. Um, we wanted to finish by telling you what we are going to do this season to or this academic year to really support the girls in our school with football. We are going to hopefully host on around the 8th of March, an ARC Academy football festival. And the idea, all based on these girls telling me what they wanted to do, we're going to try and get more and more girls from our school involved. So not just those who love football already. Um, we've looked at what some of the barriers are at the moment and how we can get more of their friends to come along. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, and be part of the team. And what are some of the things, um, Abigail or Iman, that we're going to do on that day? Um, we're going to bring food and snacks and we're not going to do like, professional football we're gonna make it more fun for people so we can encourage them to play football more so. yeah exactly so we're going to try and make it a really fun environment some music the kit in the middle there is one designed by these three girls their aim is to try and hopefully purchase a new kit this season and that's all from us unless anybody has any questions we'll wait to see if anyone has any questions can we purchase that kit yeah, hopefully. We've even got a nice design on the back and everything that we're hoping to get on there, all designed by the girls. A bit more work to do on it, but thank you so much. If there's no questions, we can pass back over to you. Do you want to say bye? Bye. Perfect. Uh, honestly, that was amazing from the quiz to just your whole presentation. Absolutely amazing. I think I've connected with it a lot more because I am an ARC Academy alumni. Um, so mm. it's so amazing to hear basically all the great things that are going on. Um, so again, thank you so much, girls, for joining us. And um, I hope we see you guys again soon.